Today, I'd like to talk about this Platinum 3776 Century fountain pen. Uh, not an unboxing because I've been using it for two months and it came in this white box which is really just the sleeve for the standard faux leather presentation box with the satin interior. There's nothing remarkable about this box. It's a normal box. It came with the instruction manual for um, fountain pens and other writing instruments from Platinum and the one-year warranty against original factory defects. It also came with the uh, proprietary Platinum cartridge and the Platinum converter which is great because this Platinum pen does not use international cartridges. Um, Onto the pen itself, this comes in four colors. There's black, there's a clear demonstrator called the Shoji, which is named after a lake in the Mount Fuji region. I would not recommend that pen. There are complaints that the plastic has injection molding marks on it, and that kind of sucks. There is the blue demonstrator, which is the Chartray, and there's this, the red demonstrator, or the Bourgogne. Bourgogne is a region in France, and the word means burgundy. Uh, pardon my French pronunciation. It's probably completely wrong. I don't know if you're getting the color of this pen so clearly on your screens. But in case you're not, when you see this pen, what you will see is red wine in a glass. It's a deep burgundy red. It's a beautiful red, and it's transparent. In that transparency, is not like you see every single detail of the pen but you do see your ink level which I think is pretty neat in terms of design overall design when you look at this pen okay um, this is standard fair fountain pen look a lot of fountain pens look like this like the Mont Blanc and other Japanese fountain pens look like this as well you have your cigar shape your uh, gold trim your band in the center on this band is engraved platinum 3776 made in Japan and you have a pretty standard plain looking clip unscrew the pen you see that the section is made of the same material as the barrel I like that and it's just separated from the barrel with this uh, by this uh, gold band the converter has a gold trim rather than the usual chrome trim and then you have the 14 karat gold nib which is a decent sized nib. My estimate is that this is either a number six or number five nib, probably number six. Um, again, when you look at this design, this is iconic fountain pen look. Most fountain pens, you know, are sort of drawn this way when they're being illustrated. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, it's standard, it's classic. Weight and feel of the material. Well, the material doesn't feel cheap to me. Um, it feels nice and substantial. Some people have complained, though, that it feels cheap. But then I haven't been handling expensive fountain pens, so <clears throat> maybe I wouldn't know. But it cer certainly doesn't feel like uh, the plastic of the Lamy Safari. Now, this is cheap plastic, but it is extremely sturdy. And here's another cheap pen. No, there's Ahab really cheap plastic this doesn't feel like that this feels uh, more substantial um, other people have also complained that this is prone to scratching I can't test that and I don't want to right I don't want to start scratching up my pen hey it's not prone to scratching I just take care of the pen um, in terms of weight this is not a heavy pen okay I would consider this a light pen but not overly light in terms of length you have this compared to my M400, the 3776 is about three quarters of an inch longer. Um, this is the Bexley Corona, and the Platinum is about, oh, a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch longer than the Bexley Corona. It is the same length as the Lamy Safari, give you an idea of that and it is the same length as your Noodler's Ahab. Notice the difference in girth. This is the fatter pen. It's the lighter pen. I like the uh, thickness of this pen better, but that's 
uh, personal preference. The best thing always to do is to go to a pen store and test it. Um, what else do I like about this pen? Well, I really like the nib. This is a gold nib, so it has some give to it. It's not entirely a nail, but it is not a soft nib, and it is not a flexible nib. Uh, if you can hear that sound, okay, this nib is a fine nib, and it has some feedback to it. If you're looking for a butter smooth or a smoother nib, I would suggest the medium. In terms of flow, it's wet without gushing, and I like that. I appreciate it. Uh, I enjoy writing with it. I do enjoy writing with buttery smooth nibs as well. I like the variety that I get. Uh, this is no exception. But again, if you're looking for something smoother, try the medium nib. What else do I like about this pen? Okay, that white ring at the top of the section, that is the uh, platinum slip and seal technology. You can see a similar white ring, I think, if you try on the inner cap of the pen. And what happens is it makes the uh, pen airtight. And all you do when you cap it, and you'll feel this soft stop. Um, supposedly, you can leave the pen inked for over a year and not touch it, and the ink will not dry out. A lot of people pen people will tell you that if you don't use your pen on a regular basis, the ink will dry out. In this case, with the slip and seal technology, supposedly that won't happen and your pen will start up right away. Now, I can't test it, you know, wait for a year and see if that happens and not use this wonderful pen. I have to use this pen. So I tested it sort of using um, Noodler's Burma Road Brown. Um, I love the color of this ink. It's a uh, brown with a hint of dark olive and I like that it has that kind of character but the ink might be a wee bit too thick so it might need to be diluted with distilled water any case um, in any case I used it I used this ink in different pans of mine and it did dry dry out in those pans if I left them alone for a day so I thought what a great way to test the slip and seal mechanism of this pen I loaded the pen with the ink I used it I left it alone for a day or more than a day, it would start up right away, no problems. In fact, one time I left it alone and used other pens for more than like uh, about a week and a half and it started up no problems. So overall, you know, this is a great pen. I would get this one and the Chartres Blue. Uh, in fact, I might just get the Chartres Blue so that this isn't lonely in the pen case. The black fountain pen is it's got the same features it's just that it's black it's a um, standard black fountain pen and as I said the clear demonstrator I wouldn't recommend it um, people are complaining about the build quality and the construction so that's about it for today